My name is Planlas and welcome to Indie Bits, the show where I give my first impressions on new indie games. You start off the spirit of the island by customizing your own character however you wish and giving it a name, as well as naming your farm. You then start the story where you end up being a castaway on an unknown island, so you quickly grab a ball and paint a face on it. You'll soon find your farm where a lot of the gameplay will take place. You can expect the usual, just as chopping down trees, planting and watering different kinds of crops depending on the season, building new things to just decorate around, or stations like a forge that unlock new crafting options, and even go to the nearby cave for some good old spelunking. All of these activities give you experience points that allow you to level up and you got a bunch of different skills to improve. But instead of you selecting which skills to unlock, the game has a more organic system, where you only level up the skills that you practice, so if you want to raise your farm farming one, you better do a lot of that. While doing this, you will slowly drain your hunger, thirst and stamina meters. You can easily recover some of that by munching on whatever food you have at hand, but your overall stamina is mainly recovered by sleeping at your house, which also saves the game. Just select how many hours you want to sleep and if you sleep enough, you will wake up with a well-rested buff. God, I wonder how that feels like. Of course, no game like this is complete without a nearby village full of NPCs to interact with. There is a lot of them and you can of course f I mean romance them. You even get to choose different dialogue options during conversations which affect if they like or dislike you more. And even though there is a main quest to discover the mysterious origins of your birth, NPCs provide you with new side quests to fulfill and earn some extra cash. In general, Spirit of the Island is fantastic. Even though it is currently releasing in early access, it works great and is super ambitious. It's one of those games that you're always saying, just one more day, I gotta get this thing done. During my first impressions, it was obvious that I was just scratching the surface. There is a lot of other mechanics like raising animals, exploring the archipelago, and even setting up your own shop in the village for tourists to visit. And all of it can be done in online co-op. This game is super promising, and I am certain that it's only gonna get even better with time. Because of this, on my should you try it scale, I give it a score of... Get it now!